Hi, I'm Paul Erlinson, and I'd like to talk to you today about my painting, which I call Red Line. It's oil on canvas. It is 40 inches tall by 30 inches wide, and I thought I'd give you a little background about how this painting came to be made. It started off as a class project for a class I took in photorealism at the Flint Institute of Arts under a famed um, photorealist Egal Ozeri. He was there back in mid-March, which is when I started this painting. There was a lot of preparation to get ready for the painting that had to happen ahead of time. So for instance, I had to acquire the Hot Wheels car and the blister pack, which I got from my son, who's a Hot Wheels collector. And it was already a blister that had been opened. The story behind that is the blister, cars are worth more for collectors when they're still in the blister pack. And so this is the moment of breaking open the blister pack portrayed um, visually at which it is liberated from its 50 year bondage to the blister pack and comes out to see the light of day. So that's the kind of the story behind this painting. So I first had to acquire the car on the blister pack, which I got from my son. I then found a model. She's a local model and I found a photographer. I had to then take images to try to find that one magic image to paint from. So I'll show you a series of um, photographs that were from that a photo shoot that did not make the cut and then I'll show you the final one that I did paint from. So after that happened, I took the blank canvas into Egal's class at the Flint Institute of Arts, and I projected it using a, a Optimo projector so that I could get the basics of the uh, geometry in, in the correct location. And I did this with regular oil paint, and you'll see that it's not very far along. That was March 17th, 2022. Then April 10th, 2022, I had gotten this far in the painting. It's starting to get fleshed out a little bit. And so you can see that there are a few more details that are painted in. And finally, here's the finished painting. So a lot of effort went into getting the Hot Wheels package correct. It's got the little unpopped um, rack hole. It's got wear around the edges from being 50 years old. It's got the tear on the letters. It's got a, a custom cord uh, Hot Wheels Redline car that's being pulled out. It's got the cover art. And so that's really, the, the reason I chose the photo I chose is because that image of the Hot Wheels car really popped in that one particular, it was um, definitely the focus of that one uh, photo from our photo shoot. Then after that, the painting was finished. Before I framed it, I took it to a local scanner who put it on a big flatbed scanner and scanned it, did a professional scan on it so he could make um, reproduction prints. And so I have these prints for sale. These are 16 by 20 inches. Um, it's a reproduction. I have a, an edition of 50. They're signed and numbered. So these are available. Um, just contact me, um, personal message me or, or email me or get to me through my website and you can have one of these. They're suitable for framing because they're a cut of st standard size, which is 20 inches tall and 16 inches wide, and they are signed and numbered. But that's my red line painting. Possibly will be entered into an exhibition next year, but the original is also for sale if you'd like to inquire about that. And that's all I've got to tell you. Hope you enjoyed my painting.